Okay, so we're here getting ready to plug in for the first time the Rivian to a Tesla Magic Dock. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this port here and get it ready. That just clicked, so go ahead and push up into it and then out. That did not work. Push it back in. Okay, push it up and in and then back out. Did not work. Okay. Okay, we're pulling in here to the Moses Lake Supercharger. I'm having my wife pull into this first one right here. Sorry about the filming here. And she's gonna squeeze right in because of cords and you, you could see right there, they do have the Magic Docks installed. And uh, you could see that clear as a bell. It's a big spot that they're going into. We're gonna try to uh, hook into this and see how it goes. Okay. We pulled in here. We wanted to use some etiquettes. We pulled the one on the end. My wife pulled in. She could not reach it. She's backing up. So she's probably going to be okay now. But we're trying to save spots for other Teslas and not take up two spots. But however, we are now out in the middle of the road here. So maybe I should have just took two spots because it's uh, not very busy. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. All right, Bobby here, two epic EVs. And as you can see, I'm still one-legged. So in my little town of Moses Lake, they opened up the Magic Docks, which is uh, the new thing with Tesla. Now we do not have any CCS chargers here at all in the town. We have one in a little town called Ritzville about 60 miles away. Then we have another one about 60 miles the other way on I-90 in Ellensburg. This is the only CCS charging there is. Well, there hasn't been any until now. I want to pan this way. We have, I think, a 12 or 16 station Tesla set up. I chose a ending. I chose an ending spot to not interrupt the other Tesla people because I would have to take up two spots because it's on the front and the other side. So I chose the one at the end. I am sticking out a bit, but I wanted to give the Tesla drivers the respect. Me as a Model Y owner, understand that. Okay, so we're here getting ready to plug in for the first time the Rivian to a Tesla Magic Dock. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this port here and get it ready. That just clicked, so go ahead and push up into it and then out. That did not work. Push it back in. Okay, push it up and in and then back out. Did not work. Okay, let me try to reactivate it again in the Tesla app. Try it one more time. Maybe we're doing something wrong. Okay, it didn't work. Let me try to reactivate it again in the Tesla app. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're trying again. Go ahead and push in. Out. Got it. Now notice this Magic Dock has a CCS adapter on it. All right, let's go ahead and pull it over here, Adrian. And you just want to plug it in. Oh, this upside down, do you got enough room? Oh, it's gonna be tight. And we're already blocked half of the road there. Can you get it? Click. Okay, we should be going. I now am gonna go pop into the truck and see what kind of speeds we're getting. It's supposed to be an automatic handshake, so we'll see what happens. Okay, we're inside now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put on energy to see what kind of speeds we're getting. Looks like uh, 115, oh, 146 kilowatts, and I'm at 38 percent. So I'm wondering if it's going to wrap up, ramp up here, go a little faster. 
Um, these are, I believe, 250 kilowatt machines. So, so far so good, it handshakes really well. Okay, we're back here. We're now at 55%. We started, I believe, at like 38. I'll check the video on that or 35 or something like that. We are holding right at 153. The app says these are 250 kilowatt chargers. They also have the small cords like they are. So I'm not budging off of that. And I don't know if it's the car not taking more or they're limiting my speed on this one. So um, that's where we're at. We'll give you an update soon. Okay, we're back here, and as you just saw in the video, I stopped it through the app. So go ahead, Nate, you're gonna see if you can pull that out now. Good, good, let's go ahead and plug it right back into the Magic Dock. Good, there you go. Now, does the Tesla one come out easily by itself now? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna put that back in. Great, and that's how you use the Magic Dock. We decided to, uh, we decided to stop charging. I was only getting a max of 150. I don't really need it. I'm gonna go home and charge for free, but I wanted to show you. And thank you. You wanna go ahead and wave? And then she's waving too. All right. We're on our way to Quincy, Washington, where they have the new Magic Docks and um, here I am, and I'm looking, and I'm just gonna go out to Quincy here. This is right where it's at, is in this intersection here. I don't see anything. I see something else here, which is a charge point, 6.6 .6 kilowatts. But the Tesla, let's just double check. Nope, it's not even showing it. We're gonna go there right now and uh, hook up to it and uh, go from there but I cannot precondition the truck for the charger at the moment. All right, we'll see you there. Okay, we're arriving at the Quincy Tesla location. I'm gonna go ahead and pull on the side here so we're not blocking anybody. And I do gotta get close here because those handles are very short. This is the only location where I'm not gonna block two stalls. So let me show you here. Um, so I'm right on the end here. And then all these other locations, they, um, they're unoccupied at the moment. Okay, we got pulled up here. We got this opened up, we're at 2D. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and choose 2D on my app here. 2D, unlock adapter. I just heard it click. Go ahead and pull that out, Adrian. There it goes. And then he's gonna go ahead and plug right in. Click. Did it go in? I thought I heard it click. I think it's going. Is it, did it turn green yet? Okay. So what we have here, is so we have another Tesla rolling up here. And uh, I chose, like I said, one on the end so I didn't disturb anybody. We're gonna pop inside to see if we're charging yet. Okay, so we're inside here at Quincy. Once again, I'm charging right at 153. Now, this time I am higher state of charge. I'm at 61%. In Moses Lake, I was charging at uh, 20, 30%. But I got the same, same kilowatts here. So I'm not really sure. I could not route, as I said, to the charger. I did put it in sport mode and I was kind of ripping a little bit to warm up the battery. But uh, here's where we're at. Okay, so we're here in Quincy, Washington. And I got the Rivian hooked up. As you can see, there's another Tesla down there charging. I chose the one on the very end so it doesn't disturb anybody. But if I would have had to do the other one, it uh, would have took up two spots. So this is kind of nice, it is. Also, I have a trailer. In the future, I'm gonna pop right around and be able to pull right in. There's a big lot here. Go ahead and pan over this way. Big lot over here so you can hook up with a trailer with your Rivian. So I'm kind of excited about that. Okay, 
we're going to go ahead and stop charging. I'm at 70%. I went down to 115 kilowatts or 119 app. The app actually shows you. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop charging. Okay. Charging stopped. You're going to want to hit this button right up here. Go ahead, Adrian. Good. And then go ahead and put it right back in there. All right. Just for kicks, try to pull it out again just the Tesla charger. So that worked out great. All right, thank you. This is the Quincy location and uh, we're going well. No issues charging.